For this video, what I wanted to go through is to give you guys some tips on how to prepare for studying A-level physics in 2020. Now, my first step would be to research some of the really fascinating topics that are on the A-level physics specification. We all look at interesting problems as part of engineering, such as resonance, for example. We also look at some really fundamental physics, such as quantum mechanics and the energy of a photon, etc., etc. Additionally, we also look at some really fascinating large-scale physics, such as astrophysics, Kepler's laws and the, um, the evolution of stars and overall as a whole the study of the evolution of the universe which is cosmology. So there's some plenty of really really fascinating topics that you could research before you start your A-levels. My second tip would be to brush up on some of the mathematical concepts that you've learned in GCSE. For example, rearranging equations is incredibly important in physics. Additionally, we need to make sure that uh, we're fully comfortable with using the uh, graphical equations. For instance, the uh, equation of a straight line, y equals mx plus c, is used considerably in A-level physics. So it's definitely worth revising that. The third tip would be to make sure that you choose an A-level combination that is suitable to what you want to achieve in the future. For instance, if you wanted to be a professional physicist, it might really be worth uh, picking, for example, physics, mathematics and uh, computer science as a, as a possible combination. If you wanted to be a, um, a chemical engineer, for example, in the future, what I would pick is physics, mathematics and chemistry. So really think about what you want to do after you graduate from college that will ultimately determine what you would like to study while you are in college. My next step, particularly for those of you guys that are really interested in having a career as a professional physicist and studying physics later on in university, would be to consider learning how to code. You can start off with, uh, with Python, for example, and uh, slowly start learning how to code. This is an invaluable tool. Not only are you going to use that in your physics degree, but will also potentially um, open up many job opportunities for you in the future. Additionally, if you're interested in uh, studying physics, I believe computer science is an excellent side choice as an A-level that you can be doing at the same time. My next tip would be to start looking at some of the specifics that are on the A-level physics specification. You can do this in a multiple different ways. Uh, you could get a physics textbook or you can look up some of the topics online. And then you can also find some online lessons. Uh, for instance, in this channel, I have quite a, few, uh, quite a few online lessons that will give you guys an idea of what uh, some of the theory behind A-level physics is like. And finally, my final tip would be to make sure that you are working consistently. Now, one way of uh, just making sure that you have a schedule to follow could be to choose some of the working days throughout the week and assign a subject to them. For example, for instance, if you wanted to do physics, maths and computer science, you could have three days assigned throughout the week in which you do a little bit of work in each of them. For example, Monday could be, uh, could be physics, so you could be looking at Newton's laws on, on Monday and doing some examples or doing a little bit of research on Mondays. Then Tuesdays, uh, this could be your, um, your, your maths preparation day, so you can start looking at sets or calculus and differentiation, etc, etc. Wednesday could be, uh, could be your computer science day, in which uh, you look at how to program and how fun it is to, uh, to learn how to program. But my main point is to be sort of working consistently. 
Okay, folks, hopefully you have uh, enjoyed this video and uh, good luck to everyone starting with A-level physics in September.